Journey of Ella Salmonella by Emily Himmelberg, Allison Edley, Mia Spencer, and Gussie Hollers. Hello, this is Ella Salmonella. She's a gram-negative bacteria that loves animals. She works hard to maintain her slim, rod-shaped figure. She lives with her family in the intestines of a pig. Her cousins live in milk, fish, cows, and chickens. Her family moves around a lot and they can live in many different animals. They can even live in humans. Her relatives are prevalent all around the world. They live in almost 3.8 million people a year. If Ella and her family end up living in a human, they can become sick, but usually do not die. Some humans die, unfortunately, that don't have access to medicine. One day, her family had to move. They were sitting in their pig home, and suddenly it began to be sliced up. Thankfully, her family stayed on the same slice. They were to a grocery store, and then they were sliced up even more into bacon. A human came along and took them home to cook in a frying pan. They were almost goners when suddenly the heat stopped just in time. The human picked up her slice and shoved what was left of her family into his mouth. Unfortunately, Ella lost her sister Sally and her brother Bobby back in the frying pan. Then her and her family began the long slide to the intestine. Humans tend not to have the greatest time when Ella and her family live inside of them. Symptoms tend to show 12 to 72 hours after Ella moves in and lasts for 4 to 7 days. They create symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, diarrhea, fever, chills, and headache. Ella and her family enter cells by altering the cytoskeleton and membrane by secreting CYP proteins that insert into the cytosol of the cell. When the cytoskeleton is broken, the membrane ruffles and Ella and her family get into the cells. They like to live in cells in the intestinal epithelium. The immune system tries to get rid of Ella and her family first with inflammatory and antimicrobial responses, such as acute intestinal inflammation. The immune system, because Ella and her family have adapted to live with inflammation and even thrive with it. Since Ella and her family cause diarrhea, most of the humans um, become very dehydrated and doctors focus on giving them fluids. If Ella and her family find a home in the bloodstream, doctors usually prescribe antibiotics. that the humans use to try and kill Ella and her family. Some people take antidiuretics, but usually people take antibiotics. The antibiotic is used to kill or inhibit the growth of Ella and her family. Sometimes, one of the members of Ella and her family is able to survive because they have the ability to neutralize the antibiotic before it can do any harm, or they can change the antibiotic's attachment site so it can't affect the function of the salmonella spread of salmonella because many people aren't educated about it and it's easy to eat contaminated animal products without knowing. Educating people about salmonella would be the helpful as well as giving as many people possible access to clean water. Restaurants need food safety regulations to prevent and limit the use of contaminated animal products and make sure meat is cooked.